chains are used for all sorts of things for different purposes. Some are small and some are huge. Today we're taking a look at the top 15 biggest chains ever made. Number 15. The Longest Gold Chain Gold chains are worn by people around the world, both as an aesthetic choice and as a sign of wealth, and there's a wide variety of designs to choose from. You could buy some gold chains for a fairly reasonable price. For the longest and thickest ones, it costs the same as in the annual budget for a small country. In 2015, the record for the longest gold chain to ever be made was broken in an event held at the Diera Gold Souk bus station in Dubai. Known as the Dubai Celebration Chain, it took the efforts of a hundred craftsmen just over 45 days to produce. In total, it contains 530 pounds of 22 karat gold and was made up of over 4 million individual links. Amazingly, this results in a chain that was more than 3.1 miles long. Not only was it an attempt to break a world record, but the idea was to draw focus to the city and drive tourism to the region. Shoppers at the local malls were able to purchase segments of the chain ranging from 8 grams to 26 gram pieces. And there was also a draw where anyone who bought jewelry that week had a chance to win a share of 88 pounds of gold and 8 carats of diamonds. It's probably one of the most unique and expensive world records to have ever been set, and it's unlikely there will ever be a gold chain quite like it again. Number 14. The Prelude FLNG The Prelude FLNG is the largest offshore facility in the world. It was built by Shell at an estimated cost of $10 billion, and is designed for use in the Prelude and Concerto gas fields that are around 120 miles off the coast of Australia. The vessel weighs more than 300,000 tons, it's 1,600 feet long and 243 feet wide, and was made with more than 260,000 tons of steel. Due to the region where it operates, it's designed to withstand Category 5 hurricanes, so as you can imagine, it requires some serious strength to keep it attached to the seabed. To do this, it's moored to 16 piles that are each 215 feet long, 18 feet in diameter, and are driven into the seabed. This isn't enough to be sure of its stability, however, and as a backup, they needed to build the biggest chain ever constructed. It required an entire construction facility to itself, and was made in Spain before being transported to the Prelude FLNG. The chain is just over 10 and a half miles long, and weighs an astonishing 10,500 tons. This, along with the steel pile, should ensure that the platform never moves out of place unless it's done so on purpose, and will allow the platform to continue operating for much of its 25-year lifespan as possible. Number 13. Nimitz Class The Nimitz Class aircraft carrier represented the largest vessels in the U.S. Navy's fleet from the time they entered service in 1975 until 2017. At 1,092 feet long, 252 feet wide, and with a maximum displacement of around 100,000 tons, the 10 carriers built to this design are essentially floating cities. The powerful engines give a top speed of 35 miles an hour. They're nuclear-powered, so can operate for 20 years without needing to refuel, and they have a crew complement of more than 6,000 people. They remain one of the most powerful ship designs ever, and are full of advanced offensive and defensive technologies, and are ready to deploy in oceans around the world with very little notice. Of course, you can have all the technology available on a ship, but if you don't get the basics right, it'll be useless. To keep the vessels firmly in place when they reach their destinations, they are equipped with two anchors, which each weigh 30 tons. These require seriously heavy-duty chains to bear the loads, and each anchor is attached to 12 shackles of chain, which is the equivalent of 1,080 feet. Each link of the chain weighs approximately 360 pounds, so when the chain themselves are on deck, this adds a further 10 tons to the ship's overall weight. Number 12. The Sichin Chain Bridge If you've ever been to the Hungarian capital Budapest, then chances are you've seen the Sichin Bridge. Opened in 1849, it was the first permanent bridge to be built over the River Danube, and was designed by William Tierney, a British architect. At 1,230 feet long, it's the longest and one of the last chain bridges in the world, but was at the forefront of technology in the 19th century when it was built, so much so that it was declared one of the engineering wonders of the world. Chain bridges are a form of suspension bridge that uses chains instead of wires to support the main bridge deck. It was particularly poignant in this location because it represented the link between the East and the West, and soon became as integral to locals in Budapest as the Brooklyn Bridge is to those who live in New York. Amazingly, it stood up to a number of challenges since it opened, including being bombed by the Nazis in World War II. It was virtually destroyed, but rebuilt to its original specifications within just four years. 
It remains a testament to engineering developments during the 19th century, and what can be done if enough people work together and continues to be a beacon of calm and balance to the city and the wider country. Number 11, Fury 325. Our desire for ever more exciting and exhilarating experiences pushed the world of roller coaster design forward leaps and bounds in recent decades, with engineers finding new ways to reach greater speeds and heights than ever before. Giga coasters are ones that are more than 300 feet tall at their highest, and Fury 325, which is at the Carowinds Amusement Park in Charlotte, North Carolina, is one of the latest that opened in 2015. The 6,602 foot long track reaches a maximum height of 325 feet and is the fifth tallest in the world. What's particularly special about it, however, is that it's by far the tallest roller coaster that uses a traditional chain lift hill at the start, and as a result incorporates the longest and toughest chain used in any amusement park on Earth. The chain, which is more than 700 feet long, weighs more than a ton, and it had to go through extensive testing to ensure it would be reliable enough. After all, it has to continuously pull heavy loads up the steep incline, and has to be reliable enough that not a single link will break. It's a marvel of coaster design, and one that, with the new launching technologies, will probably never be outdone. Number 10. Saipem 7000 Saipem 7000 is a semi-submersible crane vessel and, as of 2020, is the third largest of its kind in the world. Owned by Saipem, an oil and gas company, it's responsible for assisting with the installation of offshore platforms and support structures. It's 650 feet long, 285 feet wide, and has a maximum water displacement of 172,000 tons. With a crew of 700 people, it's equipped with removable heavy lifting cranes that are capable of carrying loads in excess of 7,000 tons. To do this safely, however, requires the vessel to be stable in the water, and for this, they require heavy anchors and seriously strong chains. In fact, it has a total of 16 anchor lines, four of which are on each corner. Each line is made up of two miles of wire rope along with 165 feet of heavy-duty chain, which is attached to a 40-ton anchor. To hoist this extreme weight up requires a dedicated 1,800-horsepower drum winch, but even this isn't enough to keep the vessel stable. There's also two further 35-ton anchors, and these are attached to the Saipem 7000 by 1,800 feet of half-inch thick chain. Number 9. The Hudson River Chain during the American Revolutionary War between 1776 and 1778, the passage along the Hudson River was seen as one of the most strategically important routes in the war effort. There was a real concern that the British would simply sail their ships up the river, so the American troops began devising a way to either slow them down or prevent this from happening entirely. The solution was the Great Hudson River Chain. Built at the Sterling Iron Works in Orange County, it was supported by logs and stretched across the entire river from West Point to Constitution Island. The chain was 600 yards long and made up of huge iron links that were two feet long and weighed 114 pounds each. Once it was put together and attached to anchors, the entire thing weighed more than 65 tons, so to prevent it from sinking, huge logs were turned into rafts to float it on top of. It was an incredible feat of engineering and would have certainly severely damaged any ship that tried to sail through. In the end, because of the threat of the chain, the British decided that they wouldn't even risk trying to pass it and instead look for alternative routes. During the winter, the chain was removed to stop it from being destroyed by ice, and it was refurbished and replaced in spring. It was also held up by a series of pulleys and ropes that allowed its position to be moved in the changing tide. Of course, the chain is now long gone after it served its purpose, and the iron was melted down to use elsewhere. But one section remains, and is part of the memorial installation that can still be seen today at West Point. We are constantly adding more people to the Top 5's production team to bring you all the best content. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on and hit the like button. Number 8. Jungberg's Transformers Chain Jewelry can be a great way to show your feelings for a loved one, to hold something dear close to you, or in many cases simply show off how wealthy you are. They're incredibly popular with musicians, and while many of us would prefer something discreet, beautiful, and classy, that's not always the case for megastars. Jung Berg, whose career began as a rapper but since progressed on to become an influential writer and producer, hit the headlines in 2008 with his new chain, which was a diamond and gold emblazoned replica of the Transformers logo. According to reports from the time, the chunky piece cost him at least $10,000, or perhaps as much as $100,000, and he started wearing it everywhere he went. This led to problems, though, because in August that year he was robbed while in a nightclub in Detroit. 
While he managed to escape the incident without being injured, his chain was taken, and for the next few weeks paraded around by different people across social media before it finally returned. The chances of anyone being able to sell such a high-profile chain are incredibly slim, and whoever it was that stole it probably realized that the only person who could ever possibly have any use for it was young Berg himself. Number 7. Stev Shark Anchor Vryhoff is a world-renowned company from the Netherlands that specializes in mooring solutions, and in 2007 they proudly announced the culmination of their latest project, which broke a new world record. They had produced eight Stev Shark anchors, which at 75 tons each were the heaviest to have ever been made. At almost 40 feet across, they were huge, and were designed for use on offshore platforms near the coast of Alaska. As you can imagine though, the use of an anchor is only part of what's required to moor a large structure in place. You also need to connect the anchor to it and ensure that it'll hold on tight. To do this with these anchors required some of the strongest chains ever devised for the shipping industry, and even then, one wouldn't be enough. In fact, two anchors are used at each mooring point, one that's the active anchor and one that's the passive backup anchor. Each one is connected by three 1,000-foot long and half-inch thick chains, which meet at a specialized buoy to connect the two anchors to the platform via another set of chains. It's a complicated setup, but doing it this way, the anchors and chains are able to withstand forces far greater than their own weight and endure that no matter what weather conditions move in, they'll hold in place. Number 6. Paper Doll Chain Not all chains of significance have to be made from metal. And there's one that was made in 2013 that shows they can be effective when they're made from a completely different material. Macmillan's Children's Books is a company that's dedicated to encouraging youngsters to read, while at the same time raising money for charity. And they came up with an ingenious idea to garner extra publicity to raise much-needed funds in the process. They took over the South Bank Centre on the banks of the River Thames in London, England, and arranged to make the world's longest chain ever made up of paper dolls. They asked for contributions from people around the world and were sent a total of 45,282 of them. Each was handmade and sent in from every corner of the earth, and it was the job of just 50 volunteers to link them all together. Amazingly, by the end of the day, they were done, and the final chain measured 2.83 miles long, which is the equivalent to 61 Boeing 747 jets laying end to end. It seemed like a record that would be almost impossible to surpass, but just a few years later, another organization managed to make one just a little bit longer. Not to be outdone, though, the organizers behind this attempt are planning to regain their title and hope to do so in the next year or two. Number 5. Crunk Ain't Dead Lil Jon is best known for his extensive recording career and was one of the leading figures of the subgenre called Crunk. In the wake of some producers saying Crunk had finished in 2007 and able to help promote his upcoming album Crunk Rock, he commissioned one of the most expensive chains to ever be made, ones that featured the words Crunk Ain't Dead. Weighing more than 5.1 pounds, it's adorned with 3,700 round-cut diamonds, with 73 carats in total, all of which are set in 18 karat yellow and white gold. The finished piece is 7.5 inches tall, 6 inches wide, and 1 inch thick, and is estimated to be worth upwards of half a million bucks. It immediately carved a place in the record books for him, as it was the largest diamond pendant in the world at the time. But it seems as if it did little for the success of his album. Possibly because of the cost of the chain, his record company went bankrupt and the release was delayed to the following year. And finally, when it did, it only sold 15,000 copies, which barely scratched the surface of the cost of his bling, let alone the production cost of the album. Number 4. Big Gus Chains are used in a whole range of different applications, but one of the most common is in the construction of chainsaws. Made up of an engine that rotates a chain that has a set of sharp teeth attached to it, they're usually for chopping down trees, harvesting, and even sculpting ice. They are, of course, available in different sizes depending on what they're used for, but the current world record holder for the largest chainsaw is so huge that it can't be practically used for any purpose. Known as Big Gus, it was built in the Morin Iron Works of Onaway, Michigan in 1996, and is currently on display at the Diupers Tourist Trap in Michigan. It's absolutely enormous, at 22 feet 11 inches long, and 6 feet tall, and is powered by a V8 engine. Amazingly, it does actually run, but as you'd expect, it's also the loudest chainsaw in the world. It sounds like a Ford Mustang roaring down the street. Number 3. Rick Ross Of all the chains owned by rappers, the one that's the biggest and most expensive of all is owned by Rick Ross. 
He's known for his displays of wealth, and has built a career on flaunting it in his music videos and appearances on shows. Right from the beginning, he would throw wads of cash from balconies and nightclubs, and he seemed destined to develop one of the most expensive music labels in the industry. It makes sense, then, that he's invested huge sums into his jewelry collection, with countless watches, rings, and bracelets that are made from gold and diamonds. What really makes him stand out from the rest, though, are his chains, and one in particular is one of the most expensive chains in the world. Made in the image of his own face, it's studded with hundreds of diamonds that are set in pure gold and is believed to be worth at least one and a half million dollars. If that's not enough, he also had a necklace depicting him wearing his chain, which is also worth several hundred thousand dollars. Number 2. Cutting Chain While chains are normally used for their strength and ability to hold things in place, there's another use for them that, while rare, shows just how powerful they can be. In September of 2019, the MV Golden Ray, a 656-foot-long car transport vessel, capsized in St. Simon Sound, which is near the port of Brunswick in Georgia. Once water started covering the cargo, everything was declared a total loss, and plans for the salvage operations could begin. The accident is believed to have happened once a fire started inside the ship, although the exact cause has never been determined, and at the time it was carrying 4,200 Hyundai cars. It had soon become wedged into the sea floor, and there was no way for it to be towed out of place. The only option was to cut it into pieces and take it away bit by bit. After numerous delays, the process could finally begin in November of 2020, more than a year after the incident. There aren't any machines on Earth capable of cutting a ship in half like was needed, so instead the salvage crews used a huge chain to do the job. A specialized crane ship called the VB-10000 was maneuvered over the wreck, and it was from there that the 400-foot-long anchor chain was pulled through the ship's hull to tear it apart. During the process, the chain was moving at between 7 and 8 feet a minute, which meant that it slowly worked its way through the twisted steel. By early December, the first complete cut was complete, and all the cars could be seen still in the cargo bays. The plan is to cut the ship into eight pieces, which can then be lifted onto support barges to be taken away, and it's hoped that the entire project will be completed within a couple of months. If it wasn't for the huge anchor chain being used to dismantle the vessel, however, the process would have taken much longer. Number 1. USS Gerald R. Ford Class Aircraft Carrier After entering service in 2017, the USS Gerald R. Ford was the first in a new line of Ford Class aircraft carriers, which replaced the Nimitz class as the most powerful in the U.S. Navy's fleet. They're just 1,106 feet long and 256 feet wide, and with 25 decks has a crew complement of just under 4,000 people. Ten of them are planned to be built, each incorporating the latest in technologies, although only two have so far been completed. With such huge amounts of equipment on board, the Ford-class carriers are powered by two A-1B nuclear reactors, which means they can stay at sea for more than two decades without needing more fuel. They're the behemoths of the sea, and no military vessel has come anywhere close to them in terms of size or strength. With a displacement of more than 100,000 tons, it's incredible that they're able to cruise at a top speed of 35 miles an hour and have effectively an unlimited range. When one of these vessels shows up to battle, they're capable of completely turning things around, but it is, of course, vital that they can be secured in place to act as a launch platform for missions. To do this, they have two anchors which are made from composite materials, and at 15 tons are just half the weight of ones used on the Nimitz class. Don't let this fool you, though, because they're able to endure far greater loads and are attached to the longest anchor chains of a navy. The links of each one are also made from a lighter weight material, but because the ship is so much larger, they have to be 1,440 feet long to have enough give for it on choppy waters. Watch our Machines playlist for more top 15 videos about awesome machines. Sit back, relax, and binge watch all of our best machine videos.